keeps on giving. Not even close to the end. It's just beginning. Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter. Yeah, and it's a good. I won't even worry anymore. Took all my cares to. Hi, I'm Amy, and I'm the owner of GlassesGirl.com. It's my own personal style blog. Coco, Chloe, Lay, L-E-I-G-H from 14 from New York. And I love fashion like all these other people who are making videos. My name is Jack Bradley and I run the fashion blog Just Having a Giraffe. I just want to say a massive thank you to the Attire Club for doing this project. It's a brilliant opportunity and I'm very grateful. I'm Leslie Abegunde from Nigeria and I love fashion. We gotta be the best, the best we can be. And those are we don't want to still. We gotta chase our dreams, reach up and reach high. What makes me, me? Fashion is my passion. For me, fashion is something that I can use to express myself without speaking. Fashion fade, yet style is eternal. It's something that Yves Saint Laurent said, and it's really true when it comes to these two aspects. Fashion for me is a reflection of people's tastes, interests, their imagination. And it is a form of art, as some people do say. I think style is the mind of someone who is willing to push the envelope and just be creative, be free, be who you are, not try to imitate whoever it is and just be your own person. Anyone can go to the mall and buy clothes off a rack, but being able to put it together, to accessorise and to make it yours is something different. Fashion, which I think is uh multi-dimensional sense of freedom. Beauty is limitless and same goes to fashion. I find it rather annoying how some people call something unfashionable. You create your own fashion so it is in fashion. Style is looking at everything around you, looking at architecture, looking at art, looking at trends, people watching, seeing what everybody else is doing, and then putting it all together to make something that's uniquely you. Style is personal. Style is you. Style is how you want to be seen by your peers, you know? I would define my style as being sophisticated and simple. Sophisticated in a way that you know that yes, you dressed and simple in a way that you didn't do it too much. I definitely think everyone should have signature staples like I wear bows, I wear flowers, I wear collars, more flowers, I love jewelry accessories like scarves, big scarves, small scarves. My style is very modern chic. Throughout the day I like to be very comfortable and relaxed by throwing on a casual tee, a dress or a skirt. I like to define my style as quirky, but human. I define my style as very unorthodox because it's not this or that, it's basically a mix of different things and very unorthodox. Or define my style, okay, smart casual. I would define my style as girly and feminine and classy, but at the same time it's very modern. So most of the time I like simple style, just really casual, black and white, monochrome. Don't follow trends. Well, you should if they're popular, but you should always try and make them your own. If you don't, it makes you look so cliche. I like to follow trends because I think it's great when you find a really popular trend and you can incorporate it into your own style. Personally, don't like to follow trends. I'm not that cool. <laughs> I think that if something works for me and I just like it, I don't really care if it's in or out, been out for ages. Yeah, if I like it, I'll 
somehow incorporate it into what I'm wearing. I think uh, it's good to follow trends, but not so much. I don't really follow trends. Um, that's the reason why I focus more on analyzing trends and uh, looks directly from the runway. I love following trends. I'm not creative enough to make my own trends, so I just follow it. But when I do follow, I like to put little tweaks and I like to make it my own personal style in my own, in my own way. I use my imagination through inspiration to create a new fashion. This is me and fashion is my passion. Beauty is when you turn your head again and you think, wow, that's amazing. I know it can be very difficult to try to find that perfect outfit for any occasion and that is when I come into play. In the fashion industry, you could look both glamorous and luxurious without having to spend that much money. You can get a lot of things while staying in your budget. Like this shirt is from Forever 21. It's not one of a kind. Everybody can get it, you know, everybody can wear it. Yeah. But everybody didn't have the idea to add the black studs to the shoulder or add this gold chain to give it a little urban feel or have a black afro or a piercing in the middle of their face or long nails. I agree with what Mr. Giandra says, an Italian fashion designer. He said, don't be into trends, don't make fashion own you, but you decide what you are, what you want to express by the way you dress and the way you live. True beauty is internal. If you are a good soul with a kind heart, you're beautiful. My vision for AtBelsemLife.com is to show that everywhere you go, there is some form of unity when it comes to the world of fashion. Fashion is art. It is the result of creativity and passion. Fashion is not only clothes. Fashion is the soul and the heart of the designer transcribed into a little piece of art. The most important thing in life is doing what you like and being yourself. And I have found it all in fashion. Someone said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And I believe that. Beauty can be found everywhere. Beauty is simplicity. I'm interested in fashion because it brings out the best in me. It makes me know more about myself. It makes me look gorgeous, look simple, look sexy. I love you for that. When you look in the mirror and you smile, when you feel confident walking into a room, that's style. Beauty is like a two-sided coin. On one side, you have the side of beauty that is superficial and very subjective. On the other side of that coin, you have beauty that's internal. That's something that is based off of character and integrity. I definitely think that the purpose of fashion is to express yourself and show the world who you are. I feel like my style is always evolving, it's always changing as I grow and as I encounter different things and through different chapters, I feel like I'm doing things differently than uh, I did, you know, a year or two ago, uh, which I think is awesome, I think it's cool, um, I, and I never really want to, to stay the same or, or be the same. My style is me, it's how I feel, it's how I want to look, and that's it, that's pretty much it. My family is my inspiration, especially my mom. Since I was young, she would always make and sew clothes just for me. My mom loves and enjoys to dress me up, and so do I. My fashion icons are Audrey Hepburn and Jessica Alba. At the moment, my fashion inspiration has got to be Rihanna because I love the way she makes this color, material, it's just very edgy and eclectic and I really, really love it. I really like Xiaowen, Chinese model Xiaowen. Uh, her street style is incredible. And also, I really like Margaret Zane uh, from Shanghai 3. 
Um, she's an Australian blogger. My fashion inspiration is Kimura, Kimura Lee Simmons. I love her too much. She she's fashionly gorgeous. Sorry, that word, but fashionly gorgeous. Gorgeous. If you combine Kate Moss and Blair Waldorf, there I would be. Bam. My fashion inspiration is definitely Lauren Conrad. I love her style. And a lot of things that I see her wearing, you know, anywhere are definitely things that are my style as well and things that I would definitely wear. And I love her style just in general. I draw my inspiration from Miss Amanda, which is um, which was a really good one. Um, fashion design and his gentility, which also influences my way of dressing, which is casual, um, nothing flashy. I'm incredibly inspired by street style. I think beauty is basically the way you carry yourself, the way you know yourself or you know, the way you uphold yourself in different standards and to me that's what beauty is. I like to get inspired by things that I know will never fade away, like nature and love. The idea for Shopping Spy came on a business trip to New York. I had a busy day with a lot of meetings and I wanted to do a bit of shopping in between two meetings. My colleagues thought I'm totally mad and I didn't want to just go onto the street and into some random boutique. So I did what everyone would do. I checked online if there was a fashion shopping guide and I couldn't find one. So when I came home to London I thought let's try to do this for London because London is a fabulous city for fashion shopping and it's my hometown and a perfect opportunity to test the market. 